Welcome back. In today's video, I am going to show you a CRUD web app using app script and Google Sheet. So in this CRUD web app, you can see these are no delete button. You can see only a view button where when you click on the view icon, you can see his data. Okay. So if you click on the edit icon, so you can able to update your data from pending to approved and anything you want else. Okay. So you can. So here you will see the data is updated real time on your CRUD web app. And also you can able to see the view bill functionality, the view bill option. Okay. So here in our database, we don't have any kind of URL for our bill. So we cannot able to view this. So here the web app mentioned there's no bill found on this web app. Okay. So when you are going to edit your data, you must need to fill all the data. For example, I click on the mail and I click on I enter the sample at the gmail.com and I enter the name called pending co approve and encrypt it. So when I click on the update and yes, update it, so you can see here my data is successfully updated in our Google Sheet. So this is the pending and this is the approved and this is the all one. Okay. So you can see here, I can also filter my data, the approved, the all, the declined and the all. Okay. So you can see here and also when you click on the view button, so you can see his all data in a view form. And if you want to add a new data, you can simply enter the ID, the name and also the gender, the email ID, the phone, the organization and also the status is by default pending. Okay. So when you click on this submit, the data is successfully submitted in our Google Sheet. So here you will see we have total six entries and we can also adjust the type how much we want to see 100 50 and also 25 10 and the 5 so here you can search the data so if you want to change this decline to approved so you can just click on the edit icon and click on the approved and click on the update button and yes, update it. So when you update it, the data is successfully approved in this and also in our Google Sheets data. So you can see here, this is our CRUD web app and in this CRUD web app, we don't have the delete functionality, but we have the edit view functionality and add new data so this i hope you like this video and please hit the subscribe button and please comment below it will motivate us so how this will be set up you just need to click on the file click on the make a copy when you click on make a copy you can rename this data for example taste and also you can select the folder where you want to save your file. I will select my drive and click on make a copy. When I click on make a copy, so you can see here a file is copied in my Google Drive successfully with my given name. Now I just need to click on the extensions button and click on the app script. So when I click on the app script, you will see the app script editor is open and in my uh, and here you can see the code is already in our app script. So I just need to click on the deploy and click on the new deployment and here I will select the anyone and also here select me as skip here. So, okay, when I click on the done, it will ask us to grant our permissions to activate the web app. So when I grant the access, authorize the access, it will allow me to give her a permissions of our Google account. So I just need to click on the advanced because I will do this action on my Google Drive. So I now it's a safe because I am the owner. 
so after that when you give him a success uh, 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 authorized success so it will give you a url of your web app when you open this url in your web app you can see our grid data management web app with our functionalities of view of edit and add new data okay so this is our grid web app so hope you like this video and here you can i i can also show you when you install it will uh, working successfully um okay that's fine that's also fine when i click on this submit so you can see here the data is successfully submitted here so if i want to view this data i can just simply click on the view and if i want to edit this data from pending to approved i can also update it manually okay so hope you like this video please hit the subscribe button i will really like your support so take care